find them, make a pay axle. Alright. Efficiency and breaking, yeah. Silk touch? Sure, fine. It's all right, I guess. Make sure to use shift right click for eating the jelly babies. Okay, um. Is there like warding charm? But there's nothing like no eat faster charm. Oh look, and the uh, diamond packs. Okay. So I guess let's go back to the water condenser idea. Get water, then it's fine. Um, at thermal. See, so yeah, might as well use the resonant bits. The wait, does this require power? It does not. Okay. So I want to say, just gotta put water around this one. Copious amounts of water requires to join the water sources to function. Ah. So, this. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is move it over to there. Water coming in from below. Woohoo! No, it requires that water source, which is fair. Because then it just acts like a infinite water source block. There. Okay. Oh yeah, power. Do I have any generators? No. Because, I mean, I could set up a couple heat generators just as a, like, backup power. It's like, I can just... ...do this. some lava. So then, there's always going to be power. May not be the most efficient power, but like, there will be power. You know? So wait. 
130 RF4. Over 2,000 ticks, dang. That massively increases it then. And which is now notifying me, telling me that, hey, you can get Adobe Pre- uh, Adobe something free. Not free. But because of being affiliate. Wait. Those are much stronger than before. Oh, is it based on the time spent in the agitator? Hold up. So wait, so if I get better power, it loads quicker then, maybe? Promising, but I still want to uh, do some other bits. So, Jenny. I mean, in theory, not the magnum border, the furnerator. enough room for three more. Okay, so let's make a furnace. And then that. And that. Okay. So now I can just type in Furnerator, go straight to the Basic and say I want ten. Okay. Is in theory this should be more effective than the heat generator. This heat generator is only producing what? Forty? Yeah, about forty. this and have several burnerators see how well this works oh wait So if we can figure out, well, it's not generating positive just yet. It's 
almost even. Oh wait. Uh, let's just grab a lever, I guess. Why is it that sometimes I can't press R? So that'll charge up. offset by one extra block. Yeah. Gonna be a bit of an issue when I do break into there, but be fine. The so nice thing is, if I can figure out what exactly I need, I can just kind of move the setup. Or, yeah, move the setup as needed to wherever I want to set this up. I guess that is true. So, once we get the power going, things are one way to wirelessly be transmitted. So, at power, energy hopper, player transmitter. I want. Well, I guess the Ender Gates, maybe? Okay, what do I need for the Ender Core? Oh, okay. Let's see, I'm going to need some rods. Probably honestly build remove some things elsewhere. I'm not 100% sure how this is working. Because this is almost up to 4,000 ticks. But then this one is like Is it pace based on how much power is being input? Because if so, I can make some minor adjustments to this. Power setup. It's like... Oh well, I guess I can't necessarily do that. Um, if I make a energy cell basic, first the dialect casing and then the energy cell basic. Honestly, actually thinking about it, let's go ahead and craft several. idea to have several of these because that's 12, 12 million FE that should be plenty strong enough for most things also it looks like the current generators I have I'm actually able to output quite a lot of power almost 
feel like the agitator might be based on how much power can be input at any one time. That's why... These are... Well, actually, no. So these are probably maxing out the, their output rates is why this amount in it is increasing, but not the drain off. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. Never mind. Okay. But we have 4.2 million or 12.2 million FE. So, if I turn on that something that uses way more power, it's not necessarily going to bankrupt me. Yet. Yeah, that is true. Uh, exchange gadget, person shrinking device, blazing nitro, blazing... I can't do anything with that. Okay. Can't guarantee that grabbing all of these things won't bankrupt me either, but... Yeah. You know how it be with the... Power situations. Yeah, I think, honestly, if I have this on and I run out of power, then we have to, like, really worry about something. Oh, it just goes in any slot, sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess technically it's 15 million with a hun with a million completely dedicated to controller. So yeah, we should be fine. Let's see. Blaze rods are keeping up, so that's fine. Boost is fine. Yeah, we should be good. rods aren't actually lasting long enough. Oh, wait. Um, we need, like, a amplify. We need a monitor or something? Relay? Storage? Storage monitor. No. Um, we find storage, keep items in stock. Create interface with a crafting upgrade. Okay. Huh? Okay, 
base, important base, export. Uh, crafting equipment? Huh? I guess in here. Oh no. Uh, them. Here? No. What? Base export. shards there. I'm not sure how exactly to make this work. like a really convoluted way of doing that. Because yeah, I can definitely do this. Oh wait, unless because I didn't Let's just use a hopper. Oh, hi there, zombies. Oh, because I broke into that area. So what's happening is it's crafting it, but it's also... It's just sending it back in too quick. So then it's being grabbed by the external storage. Just break. Oh, 
Insert only, maybe? That's just a X, technically. It drains from there. Okay, yeah, you know what? Insert only. Then if I make a stack upgrade, or maybe a speed upgrade, I guess. Will this just make stack at time? More or less. Schedule crafting test when the item being used in the device is needed but not available. Okay. Oh, so that's how I can keep a constant supply of stuff inside it. This might be... Oh, I can't use it there? Okay. That's fair, honestly. Okay. So I guess I should probably deal with the uh, slight issue going on over here. 